Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day or welcome back to part 2 which is we focus on traffic signal timing or traffic signal design. Okay, before we go into uh, look detail of the uh, calculation for the design, okay, we need, uh, we take a look for the uh, definition uh, or operational definition. Okay, first approach, what is approach? A lane or group of lane through which traffic enter the intersection. Next cycle, one complete sequence of all approaches uh, signal indication which is consists of green, amber and red phase. Okay, next uh, cycle time. Uh, total time for signal complete one sequence of signal indications. For interval, period of viewing which all signal indication remain constant. Chain interval uh, which is um, amber plus red interval provide for clearance. Intersection before conflict, uh, move traffic movement are released. And green time is the within sector which approach has green indications. Okay, uh, we have to uh, uh, understand that eh, there is a very specific uh, parameter or uh, this term eh, to be used in traffic signal because they are refer to the value itself. Eh. Like second time, they have uh, some value interval. They have some value. Chain, uh, chain interval also and the remaining eh? okay lost time during uh, time during which intersection is not active, effectively used by any approach okay uh, effective green time the time is effectively available to permit the traffic movement uh, effective rate uh, the time during which a given traffic movement is effectively not permit to move okay next saturation flow I okay, will further explain, explain this one. Eh? The maximum flow that could pass through intersection for a given approach that approach allocated all the cycle time as effective during time with no loss time. Eh? Okay, previous we have a uh, loss time. Eh? What is loss time? And this one is saturation flow. Okay, saturation flow is the not for the uh, congestion, eh? but it refers to the maximum or capacity of the flow. Eh? Okay, uh, let, uh, sorry, eh, this uh, particular intersection in uh, Malay, but I can explain. It's for a red, red, uh, red phase, uh, green phase, or green time, uh, this is uh, amber time. And then uh, from the red to move to the uh, uh, greens, okay, uh, when the green start, so the flow is start to moving, eh, but it's not really. Uh, to the uh, const, uh, steady flow or maximum flow, it keep increasing. Eh? So from this time, they call loss time. Eh? They, it consists of in the green uh, time plus or red, and suddenly after some time, the flow reach to the maximum uh, flow or uh, maximum capacity, eh? which is called for the uh, saturation flow. Eh? Okay, next, link capacity, the maximum flow can pass through an intersection under prevailing road and traffic condition. Signal timing, the operating characteristic of the signal with the parameter being cycle length and effective green time and rate times. Okay, pre-time signal, uh, uh, signal whose signal timing fixed over service fix, free of time. Traffic phase, a part of the cycle time allocator. To any traffic movement or any combination traffic movement receiving the right of way so integrate uh, this is quite important eh? okay uh, the time between end of green period uh, phase losing the right of way and beginning of the green period of the phase gaining right of way okay uh, let's imagine this one eh? uh, when uh, the green time one phase to end to change to the rate and green time for net uh, phase okay when uh, green time is end so before they going to be red so they have a uh, amber time so the amber time 
and before green time net phase is appear they have a one more um, gap which is already which is all the approach uh, have to stop for a one that's the call already eh? so in the green period which is include amber time plus already time between two green period which is from one phase to another phase so the gap is between uh, amber plus or red that we call in the green period now we, now we move to the calculation for the traffic signal timing eh? okay uh, we have uh, several steps we have to follow this step eh? one by one we cannot jump to one another we have to follow step by step eh? okay this is the principal design eh? the first one determination of saturation flow so we have already know the state flow so there is a formula uh, to calculate saturation flow. Eh? The first, uh, if the approach width or the lane width of the lane width more than 5.5 meter, so we have to refer this formula. Eh? Saturation flow equal to 5 to 5 W, which is uh, lane width eh? for this already from Webster formula. If the lane width less than 5.5 meter, so simply you can refer these particular tables, eh? okay, which is let's say we have 3.5, so the threshold flow is 1, 1, 185, 1885. Eh? Okay, if there is on parking for that particular approach, so we have to reduce the W to be effective lane width. Eh? So this one to reduce lane width. We have used the formula. Eh? Okay, next, uh, the saturation flow also affected by the some factors. Eh? The first factor is the gradient. Eh? Uh, some uh, intersection they have a different uh, surface level. Eh? They have uh, downward, upward. They have a slope. Eh? Okay, if the slope is upward, so the value less than uh, 1.0. Eh? Uh, dif dif uh, refer to there. Uh, the gradient, eh? gradient, how how much degree? Eh? Okay, if the slope is downgrade, the value over one point zero, eh? uh, because what this one, yeah, they are going to up, this one they going to down. Sometimes they have from the gravity itself, eh? so they can uh, move easily to the to the downward. Eh? Okay, next we have correction factor for turning radius. Okay, they have a uh, three category of uh, radius, eh? turning radius. Uh, less than 10 meter so between 10 and 15 meter okay the last the largest size is between uh, 15 to 30 meters eh? okay next we have correction factor for turning eh? from from the uh, right turn or left turn it depends on the percentage of the turning eh? okay next after we correct all the saturation flow factors which is x adjusted eh? uh, as adjusted Okay, uh, next, second step, we determine the y value and eh, y ratio. So, what is the y value? It's the ratio from the Q over saturation flow. So, Q refer to individual approach eh, or lane eh, by lane. Okay, uh, uh, the Q is the actual flow. Eh? The S, we can refer to table 1.5. Eh? Okay, then, we have to calculate uh, the highest value uh, all together combined. So we can determine the y ratio eh, from each approach. Eh? Okay, take note that y uh, value measure uh, have to be less than should be and eh, should be less than zero point eight five. If over this value, let's say over eh, like uh, zero point nine or above, or even zero point six, zero point uh, zero point eight six or zero point eight seven. Okay, it not recommended to be uh, proceed the calculation eh? uh, unless we do some upgrade or we have to consider uh, the changes of the geometry and eh? like uh, lane width to be uh, wider or uh, adding uh, extra lane and so on. Eh? Okay, uh, this are the correction factor for the PCU which is we have to uh, convert for the each category of vehicle to be passenger car unique. Eh? Okay, next uh, to determine loss time eh, uh, per cycle. Okay, uh, the total loss time uh, which is L equal to summation of bracket I to be integrated minus A is amber plus uh, L summation of reaction time. 
So we know it's in the green uh, to be from uh, uh, the assumption uh, three second to could be five sec uh, four second, and amber also uh, uh, we can uh, assume like a three second. Sometimes they use two second, but we can calculate this one eh, if we have data and the reaction travel time. Uh, they have uh, some uh, recommended value is 2 seconds eh? but the range between 0 to 7 seconds depends on the situation, the location and the drivers itself eh? okay uh, this one further calculation if we have a specific data to calculate amber time but sometimes they also assume as 3 or 2 or 3 seconds eh? but uh, we, can, we can calculate this uh, uh, amber time eh? if we have the data Okay, the fourth step determine of option or optimum cycle time CO. So optimum cycle time is minimum uh, average delay in the section, but the delay is not greatly increased. Cycle time varies with uh, range of 0 0.5, to 0 0.1.5. So it can be calculated by this formula CO, which is equal to 1.5 L. L refer to loss time plus 5 divided by 1 minus y, y is y ratio. Eh? So for the practical purposes, we can modify or we can do uh, some uh, practical value. Eh? Let's say if we calculate, we obtain 50. Eh? So from this figure, we can uh, recommend uh, lowest uh, uh, than uh, 45. So maximum is 120 seconds, which is 2 minutes. Eh? So we refer in second. Eh? So the maximum recommended is 2 a minute or 120 seconds. So if we calculated here, uh, if the value is uh, 50, we can recommend as uh, 60 eh? to make it very easy. 60 is 1 minute. Okay, we can uh, up to uh, 90 uh, seconds. Eh? Uh, 90 seconds, one, one more than 1 minute. Eh? Can, eh? Because we can consider a practical or simple sim simply yeah, simply values eh? not unlike uh, 55 is uh yeah is uh, actually uh, weird or it's not practical to proceed calculation eh? we just use absolute number eh? okay the step five determination of signal setting which is effective green times so effective green time is the cycle time which is CO eh? we already uh, use a new uh, value of uh, uh, multiplication uh, minus uh, loss time eh? so CO minus loss time and from here we can uh, do a further calculation which is specifically for effective grain time which is GN equal to Y Y individual, eh? y individual uh, divided by Y capital eh? or total Y ratio uh, bracket just this one eh? uh, CO minus L Okay, then uh, we can uh, calculate another uh, green time for actual green time, which is G equal to G small, just we obtain for effective green time, plus uh, this one is relation time, plus R is O rate. Then further, we can calculate con controller certain time, which is K. K we can uh, calculate by two formula. The first one, G minus A minus R, or just uh, G effective green time here. Yeah plus reaction time minus amber. Let's move to this simple uh, sample of a calculation. Eh? It's quite detailed. Eh? Okay, the question design three phase fixed time signalized including pedestrian phase for a given intersection. It's a geometric of the intersection. Eh? So we have approach from north, south, east and west. From north, we have a single lane, one lane. Eh? From the east to the west, we have dual or double lane, eh? two lane. Okay, and also take note, eh, they have a um, gradient, eh, gradient, and also turning radius is 10. So 10 uh, turning radius measure from here, eh, from west to the south, and from east to the north. Eh. Okay, here and here, we not count the uh, uh, turning radius, eh, because they are combined, this approach, eh, to be uh, left, right. And straight but here they are split eh? and they have true lane and right turn lane eh? okay 
These are the uh, traffic volume eh, or flow between two peak hour, eh, morning and evening. If we have obtained this uh, two set of data like this, so we have to do the average. Eh. Uh, sometimes we need only one data. If you observe one data, you can directly use one data eh, for peak hour. But they have observed two uh, kind of the peak hours, eh, morning and evening. So that's why they have to set data. But we can do the average. Eh. So here they do the average value. Combine morning and peak hour to obtain the average data. Okay, next, uh, first step determine saturation flow. Okay, from uh, the first uh, approach, we look at the north. We start the north. You can, you can start in, in other in in uh, uh, many direction one. Eh, in uh, any to start. Eh, but here they give a north uh, direction. Okay, from the north, the width is set is four meter. If you look the uh, geometric eh? so the north they have four meter so refer table 1.4 1.5 sorry 1.5 four meter the value of saturation flow 1965 that's why here they insert the value 1965 so they have also the uh, effect of the gradient from the north to south eh? they have three percent so refer table 1.2 then we obtain the value one the correction value eh? uh, 1.09 eh? so for the uh, left turn and uh, right turn okay this one very be careful eh? we look at the particular uh, table which is north eh? if you refer to the north north here okay then you have to calculate eh? you have to calculate the left turn and the right turn eh? so look at left turn right turn so then we have to uh, calculate eh? the percent so from here from the percent so we can simply refer to uh, sorry eh? refer to this table percent eh? okay percent okay this one percent for left and right turn eh? so from here let's say uh, we obtain 22 and 16 so we refer this value eh, to be insert into the uh, saturation flow eh. okay and then we can calculate uh, just saturation flow for north approach eh, which is uh, 1965 multiplied by this correction factors okay we obtain 1889 so next we move to the south we okay, we, we consider similar uh, operation but uh, the value is different because from the south so the 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 percent is the upgrade eh? so the value less than 1.0 eh? it is 0 0.91 and the rest you, you also have to calculate eh? the value here okay next uh, to proceed uh, each uh, no uh, east and west eh? so from the east we have a similar uh, but the lane is 3.75 refer to the table uh, sorry eh? table 1.5 eh? not 1 point table 1 point sorry eh? table 1 point so 1 point 1 okay to right 1 point 1 okay and then uh, from the east they have turning radius eh? if you look at uh, east um, Geometric, so they have a turning radius eh? from here, eh? right turn. So, west also, they, that's why they consider turning radius factors. So, from here, so we have a turning radius lane from the east. Sorry, from the east, okay, here, turning radius uh, 0 0.85. Okay, we have uh, no effect for the gradient, which is 1. Okay, all multiply for the uh, left and right. Eh? Also for the west, we have left and right. Okay, uh, then we uh, do uh, phasing eh, for this traffic signal. So they decide to do three phase traffic signal. The first phase, uh, we can start this one. Eh? A lot from the east to the west, uh, uh, concurrently eh, or simultaneously. Eh? Concurrently, so from here through and left turn, left turn, there is no conflict because we stop the direction. Okay, next phase we can uh, allow 
right turn from the west, right turn from the east, and we stop eh, from uh, others' movement. And the third phase, we stop from the west, we stop from the uh, east, we allow from the north and south. But it seems to be complete. Eh? That's okay because the speed is very low. Eh? Uh, yeah, they still can operate. Eh? Uh, even they have a small, eh, a small complex. If you want to avoid totally complete, yes, you can. You can proceed to the phase four. How to do phase four? You can proceed this uh, from the north as phase three. Stop this phase of uh, the south and with east and west. And during the phase four, you stop from the north. You allow only from the south. Okay, that's how we can proceed to the phase four if we wanted. Eh? Okay, next to determine the y value, y ratio. Okay, uh, we do this table, table calculation for the each individual Q flow and also the saturation flow, uh, which is adjusted, and Y ratio, which is from the Q divided by saturation flow. So we obtain this value. But to represent uh, Y ratio, Y capital, eh, Y uh, big Y capital, okay, we uh, only select the uh, highest value. Eh? From here, we have two value, but select highest value only. From here, we select this value, and from here, we select this value. And be careful, eh? Some students, they do not know how to choose this one, eh? Please always select the higher value. Even you have three column, if you have three movement, eh? We still, we consider one value, the greater value to be different, eh? Okay, now we add together, we sum together the ratio for y. So, we obtain 0 0.462, which is less than 0 0.85. So, now we can proceed the calculation. Next, we calculate the... Uh, lost time. Eh? So since they have give uh, the data for the average average approach speed, uh, fifty km per hour, then we can convert to meter uh, square and uh, meter second. So then we can calculate that eh, the uh, amber time, which is uh, almost almost similar to three second recommended. Eh? Okay. Then to calculate uh, lost time, first we calculate the integral. So integral, which is three second for amber. This we calculate already. Okay, this one plus two second eh, for the array. So now uh, we have five second for integral, and uh, to calculate the lost time, okay, lost time summation of bracket integral minus uh, amber plus summation of the reaction time. So take okay, no reaction time. They given two second. Uh, we can assume two second. Okay, uh, summation of represent the face of the traffic signal we design. Eh? So see we design three three phase. So put here three, eh? Three to represent the phase of traffic signal we design. If you design four phase, of course you have to put here four and four. So in this case we design three phase. So three uh, multiplied by the integral minus a rate. So a rate three second the integral is uh, uh, five second. Okay. Altogether we obtain twelve second eh, for total loss time for three phase. Eh? Okay, uh, next, determine optimal cycle time, which is we know CO, eh, equal to 1.5L plus 5, all together, eh, divided. Some students, they do a mistake, eh, they only divided uh, from here, eh, which is uh, 5 divided 1 minus uh, Y, no, all together we have divided, eh. So, now we obtain 12 for loss time, 0 0.62 for Y ratio, so we obtain 43 seconds, eh, take notes, eh. We can adjust the value to be simplicity. Eh? I have mentioned before, you can increase uh, by 70% up to 150%, uh, eh? 150%, but still maximum as 120 seconds. So simply for 33 seconds, we can, we can use 60 seconds eh? rather than 43 seconds. It's uh, not easy to be divided in further calculation. Eh? So easy, you can simply the value to be uh, absolute number 60 second or you can do 70 90 if you want but the prefer is uh, nearest value is 60 second eh, to be practical eh? simply eh? okay next we calculate a uh, uh, signal uh, setting time so we start with effective green time which is CO minus L so 60 we, we cannot use this value anymore eh, because we proceed to, to be simplicity as 60 second eh? 60 minus 12, we obtain 40 second. So from uh, formula effective green time, we can calculate by individual, eh, which is T for individual phase, eh, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. Eh. 
So this one formula, this one y, uh, y, y, uh, we have calculated by individual. So this one is uh, y ratio as the capital Y. Okay, first we obtain uh, 16 seconds, second, uh, first screen time, 12 seconds, third time is 20 seconds. Eh? So the beauty is from this calculation, we can add all together. It must be similar with the, the first one, the total effective green time, which is 48 seconds. If you add this one, add this one, this one, it's supposed to be similar for the total effective green time. If not, something is uh, error or wrong here. Eh? That is the, you can check. Eh? The next, we can calculate uh, actual green time, which is G equal to G small effective green time plus relation time plus all weight. So we just obtain 16 plus 2 plus 2, 20. Okay, 20, 12 plus 2 plus 2, 16. Okay, 20 plus 2 plus 2, 44. Next, we can calculate controller setting time, which is K. K, we can use this formula or another one, eh? but the, uh, the, the example gives uh, this formula. Okay, 20 minus time, 20 seconds minus all rate, we obtain 15, 11, and 6, uh, 19 seconds. Eh? Okay, next to check pedestrian green time. So pedestrian green time is uh, G pedestrian equal to 5 plus bracket W uh, divided by 1.22. I think this one will refer to pedestrian speed time. And minus uh, inter green. Eh? So uh, how they get this 9 here eh, refer to uh, W value. Uh, check only critical pedestrian crossing. W is wider, eh? wider crossing. Eh? If you refer this uh, particular uh, geometric of layout intersection, so the longest, uh, widest W refer to this one, eh? uh, north and south, which is plus uh, four plus one for the median, and also plus four for the lane. So we got nine. Eh? This one is not I think less than nine meters. Okay, uh, that's why they put W as uh, 9 eh, as the longer uh, distance for cross, eh, the critical. Okay, we obtain the value is 8 second. If you compare at the first one, the, the green time, actual green time is 20 second. So more than enough, eh, uh, we can allocate that particular cross time for the same 8 second within 20 second, which is G green time. Uh, greater than the uh, cross time is enough. Eh? If not, we cannot consider this particular uh, calculation for uh, allocate. Eh? Okay, next, we have to draw a time schedule. Eh? How to draw time schedule? Okay, we have a uh, design three phase. So you have to consider three phase eh? uh, separately. So the street must be three. Okay, we can start with zero uh, until 60 because our cycle time is 60. Eh? So do not add eh, 60, 120, 180. No, no, no. You just start from first to 60 uh, for each trip. Eh, the similar uh, period. Eh. Okay, let's start with the first one. The first one, you need okay this one to be displayed into the signal letter no, or signal traffic signal line eh, at the, the particular section. So this the the green that display to the lamp of the traffic signal eh, in the, the traffic signal session. Okay, uh, first, uh, we just calculated the K value for first is 15. So, we start with 15. Okay, plus, uh, amber is 3 seconds. Eh? We have designed 3 seconds. So, now we start uh, to be stopped at 18 seconds. Eh? So, now finish for phase 1. Okay, next phase 2. So, we begin at uh, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Eh? Why? Because uh, from intergreen, which is amber plus all rate so amber 3 second that's why 15 uh, plus 3 second 18 so here we have rate eh, all rate 2 second that's why they start at 20 so because intergreen because one green to another green phase they have intergreen 3 second plus all rate all rate 2 second that's why they start at 20 so 20 they allocate for next green time is 11 eh 11 plus 20 is 31 plus amber time 3 second so they stop here to move to next uh, phase eh? the third phase they start at 36 eh? 36 uh, second 
because uh, okay, 34 plus O rate to second, they start 36. Okay, from 36, they allocate about 19 seconds. Eh? 90 second plus 36 is 55. 3 second for uh, Amber, which is 55 plus 3, eight, uh, uh, 58. And 2 second for O rate, which is 60. Eh? So this is how we plot the timing schedule eh? to represent for each phase. Eh? Okay, next to calculate delays to represent the box service. Eh? Okay, here you can proceed the delays. Average delay per vehicle for the approach of arm by using this formula. Eh? It's just like very uh, complex. Eh? It's, it's actually it's very easy. Eh? But the symbol is look like uh, to be complex. Eh? So delay represents 9 over 10 bracket C plus this one. 1 minus lambda square and x square and so on. Eh? So what this means by this parameter is actually it's very easy. You have already the data. Uh, then you have to know uh, actually. Eh? Okay, C represents cycle time. You have already calculated the cycle time. Uh, lambda is proportion cycle effectively, which is green for the phase, which is just uh, calculate the ratio from the green time for individual approach by cycle time. So you, you already calculated it. Eh? Okay, QS just we convert flow into the second. Eh? We have individual Q, but if, 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 if we want to convert into the second. Eh? And next, X degree of separation, which is Q, we have calculated Q uh, divided by lambda and X rotation flow. Eh? Okay, next, from there, we obtain the value of delay in second. We have to compare or refer to this uh, standard table, eh? that guideline from JKR. Okay, if the value uh, range here represent the level for that particular lane or approach. Eh? Let's say we have 20, eh? 20 will refer here, it's level C of C. Eh? So from this particular value, from A to F, the typical acceptance uh, range between uh, C and D, uh, of course B and A, eh? but these two consider as acceptable value eh? uh, to level good level service. Eh? Okay, let's move to this example. Using the result from traffic signal timing in the earlier uh, example, determine followings. Uh, calculate uh, delay and determine level of service. So from previous calculation, we can apply into this formula. So first, we have to put the approach eh, from each direction or lane itself. Eh? Okay, north, south, uh, for left turn, right turn, and east, left, and east, right. Eh? So we have similar calculation for uh, cycle time, but green time we have different eh? from north, west, and east we have different. So this one we refer to effective green time, eh? Eh, actual green time, eh? and effective actual green time. So uh, ratio we just divided from uh, G green time actual divided by uh, cycle time. So we obtain this value. Okay, saturation we get uh, from uh, origin value that we refer from the uh, particular calculation uh, we just adjusted the uh, saturation flow okay uh, the q refer the the, uh, the table we have calculated for the q uh, next qs we put in the second so of just uh, convert eh, this value to be in a second eh, from our to be second eh. and x okay we just divided from the q in second Okay, by this lambda and saturation flow, we obtain this value. Okay, next, all this value we embedded into this or we key into this formula, we can obtain the value in delays. This is the simple uh, sample of calculation eh, uh, for the first one. Eh. So we obtain the value of lambda 3.3 .3, uh, value, this one 3.3, .3, 0.333. Okay, and then x value which is here 0, 3, 6, 4 square and here uh, lambda okay this one okay just posit this one which is q 0 0.0636 and this one okay we obtain 15.1 second so refer to the table that we mentioned before for 15.1 to be c that's why they have c and we can proceed the rush calculation. So they have a C, C, this one D, because 20 C, this one C, this one D, 25. Eh? 25 we refer the table. Okay, D between 35 and 40, that's why they obtain D. So how to determine the level of so for that particular the whole regression? Eh? 
Okay, we can all add together all together this value divided by 6 eh? 1 2 3 4 5 6 eh? okay let's say we have that like 27 eh? 27 we put this level 27 between this one is to, supposed to be d eh? okay the level switch for that total uh level switch for that contribution is d eh? but for uh, the detail we have to refer by lane approach it is very easy so we know which explore uh, which a uh, practical or which specific lane uh, at which level of service that's the the practical eh? so we can also uh, evaluate the whole intersection by adding all the de all the delays uh, and get the average value eh? okay uh, i think that's all for this particular uh, example of the calculation for the further uh, so i provide these two exercise to be used eh? the first exercise for the design for phase now eh? and they have four phase but if you read the question, they have given amber time, 3 seconds, and average time. But uh, in terms of reaction time, they have two different values. Eh? For phase 1, phase 2, they have 2 seconds. For phase 3, phase 4, they have 3 seconds. So you have to split the loss time eh? into loss time 1, loss time 2, and you add together. Then you can, you can obtain the top loss time. Eh? And the second example, this one for uh, 3 phase. Eh? phase and they put all the value so you don't need to calculate any uh, uh, adjusted situation flow because they give the value eh? uh, they as well eh? because they do not give any specific uh, geometric design for the session so we don't ask for calculate for situation flow eh? if they give a detailed layout of the session yes you have to calculate the situation flow for this particular exercise they given the situation flow so just proceed to the calculation. So I think that's all for this uh, second part. So we already completed eh, uh, learn about a uh, lesson about uh, how to uh, design a traffic signal. Okay. Okay. I think that's all uh, to complete uh, this lesson. Okay. Uh, we see you to the next uh, lesson or next subtopic eh, on interaction design. Okay. Until then, thank you so much. Thank you.